Alright, sell some more food. And I think I'm going to buy... No. I've got enough money, I can go ahead and queue up, clearing out another feature. We're going to clean up that great Pacific garbage patch. That, that doesn't need to be sitting in our oceans anymore. All right, about to have this ship out, and we will look at our next scientist. Now, the first priority I have is getting three science ships fairly quickly, and the scientist to go along with it, which is gated by my unity game, um, so that I have at least three scientists going out in different directions, finding anomalies, surveying systems, and that boosts my starting research. All right, who can we get? We can get person who has a better chance of detecting anomalies, a materials expert, or a particles expert. Well, the materials expert would be nice since I do not currently have an engineer with a uh, specialty, but that's the oldest one. Uh, so I would actually rather get one of the younger ones. I'll get the anomaly discovery chance. Stick that one in this science ship. And we will head out to uh, Bernard's Star. Now there are four systems that will actually be close to Earth. Alpha Centauri, Bernard's Star, uh, Procyon, and Sirius. And I think Sirius is a binary or trinary. And Procyon, I think, has uh, a pulsar in it. But I am going to hold off on, on surveying that world. I can't colonize it or uh, build a outpost anytime soon. We're going to go ahead and start surveying this way, looking for choke points to expand to to keep other empires from getting right up on Earth. That might be serious right there. Now, Earth has something queued up. Uh, I don't have enough minerals, I mean uh, alloys, to build another science ship yet. It'll take a while. It takes about four months for each of these to go away. Uh, so yeah, each month is exactly 30 days in the galactic uh, year. In about three months, I should be able to do something. Actually, I can go ahead and replace an agricultural district with a mining district next, just to be able to boost my mineral production. All right, after you finish Alpha Centauri, survey that one. After you finish Bernard Star, I don't know where you're going to go. He's still got 12 orders. Got a long time before I'm done with Alpha Centauri. So next month I will start on another science ship and get my last uh, scientist out there working. Now after I finish this mining district, which is going to take about nine months, uh, I've still got two years before I have to worry about this human, but nine months I should have enough minerals to churn out like an industrial district to boost both my alloys and my consumer goods. And I'm not going to sell... Actually, yeah, I've got nine months. I'll sell another hundred just to keep my money going. I could actually end up buying more alloys now this price takes about three months to uh, reset back down when you buy as opposed to like a day to correct the ones when you sell uh, when you do the cheapest all right who's my new leader we can get an industry and that's one of the younger ones that's what we're gonna do we are gonna replace this guy with an 
industry scientist. And in the new ship, we will put him. He has XP gain, so he'll level up fairly quickly. And we are going to send him to there to see what goes this way, if that's a dead end or not. So far, we really haven't found any uh, anomalies. Our tech is chugging along. It's still going to take about seven, six to seven years to get these technologies unlocked. Haven't even started surveying that tropical world yet. It's the next one. Maybe before I actually get there and get it surveyed, I will get the habitable world survey. You never know. Or what I could do if I really wanted to get particular about it. Let's uh just manually queue up him surveying over this way. Yeah. Survey the system from there. So yeah, he'll hit that planet last. And then, after you do that, go and survey this system. So that gives me a little bit more time for the thing to pop up and possibly get that tropical world as credit. Because i got to survey the whole system anyway. Um, I can go ahead and start sending the constructor this way. It's going to take four months for him to get there. Hopefully this guy will be done with his surveys by then. Or close to it. He's only got one, two, three, four, five left to survey in this system. Alright, we're about to see our next system. Vindomir. Yep. That looks like another branch heading up toward the nebula. So yeah, I'll go ahead and let this person survey there and then just start surveying their way up this way. And this person will start surveying this way. We have detected an anomaly. Alright, got our first anomaly. Now this one is always in Alpha Centauri and it's always on Proxima Centauri B. Proxima Centauri B's peculiar orbit around its red dwarf star renders the planet tidally locked and potentially worthy of further investigation. And it's going to take, it's only level one, it, he's level one, so it's going to take about four months for him to finish that. So that's going to delay me actually, I, I will be in the system before, well before he's done uh, in that system. How close am I? Oh, I'm about to be done with the mining district. Let's go ahead and queue up cleaning up this industrial wasteland. No. I need to get started on an industrial district. Um, let's buy a hundred more minerals. Now, my next population will grow in 17 months. Yeah, I can wait. Um a few more months to have the money to start an industrial district. Uh, I should have it by August. Buy a little bit more alloys. I want to be able to get up to 200 pretty quickly. We so have I detected can start an on a colony ship. All right, the mineral composition of Vendomir 2 does not match projections. Now, this one is a level higher than me, so it's adding 60 days, about two months. Um, he's about halfway through the level, but it will probably add 60 days. Like right now, it's going to take him 11 days to get to that star. Uh, so him... When he gets the entire system surveyed, he might be high enough level, but the travel time from here and then basically back 
uh, will probably be, it's probably worth it for me to go ahead and research this one now. It's only adding 60 days to it. So it's two extra months, makes it six months instead of four. Yeah, we'll go ahead and research that. It's only a level above him. All right, coming up on August, I should have, yeah. Let's get ready to build an industrial district as soon as August hits. And it should be out about the time I'm ready for more population and need more jobs. Uh, starting out when you don't have other planets that are immigrating, there's no reason to keep a surplus of jobs. There's no reason to overbuild on a planet. Once you have access to immigration, it's usually a good idea to keep about five jobs available because that boosts how much growth you get from immigration. Buy a bit more alloys, because in addition to be having to build the uh, outpost here, I am going to need to get a uh, colony ship started. As a matter of fact, I've got everything except for consumer goods for it. Let's uh, go ahead and buy 50 consumer goods. And it's going to take a year to build, so we are going to go ahead and build our first colony ship. And then we should have the alloys we need to build this by the time this guy's done surveying. He's still got four more planets to do in this system. That'll get me a couple months worth, and I'll probably be able to buy more. For as long as we humans have been able to look to the stars for new homes, Proxima Centauri B has been a naive dream, a place we would look to with optimism, a new home. Sadly, as our telescopes got better, we realized that the planet would probably be a tidally locked frozen hellscape, a theory we have confirmed today. There is hope, however. This world has all the building blocks necessary for a habitable planet. It might just need a slight push. Now what you say here doesn't matter, that's just flavor. Thank you for inspiring us, Proxima Centauri B. Now that gives Proxima Centauri B... Where are you, scientists? There. The terraforming candidate. It's a size 20, so yeah, when I get the climate restoration, I could make this into a, col a colony world. Uh, Mars also starts with that feature. Mars is a little bit dinky, though. I don't know if Mars is actually going to end up being worth it. Oh well. But, uh, doing that research of Proxima Centauri B get me enough unity to unlock my first tradition. And since it is scientific progress that has that the UN has mainly benefited us from, I'm going with discovery. Our curiosity about the universe is what got us this far, and there's still so much left to discover. Now this will give me the edict map the stars and speed up how quickly we research anomalies. So this anomaly just dropped from 180 to 150, and we're about halfway done, so we don't have that much time left. And I can run the edict, map the stars. Increases my survey speed, increases my anomaly discovery chance, and lets me see the hyperlane connections a little farther. So I can see that's a dead end. So I basically need to pursue up this way and see where that connects to. Uh, this way is a dead end, so once I get there, I can start headed this way to look for choke points. So yeah, and I tend to prioritize discovery with the United Nations of Earth. It'll be a little while before the price drops enough where I want to buy more alloys. I really don't like paying extra if I can avoid it, since I don't need the stuff right now anyway. System survey concluded. All right, Barnard Star has some nice resources in it. Mm -hmm. 
about another month and I should be able to get more alloys sometime in December. Across the barren fields of Vendomir II, there are indications of old battles being fought. Beneath the lifeless ground, our researchers on the UNS Scout have found bones, metallic shards, and most surprisingly, a container filled with documents. If we sent the documents to our homeworld for translation, we could potentially learn more about this war and who fought in it. It would also be possible to simply sell them off as antiques. Now that'll give me a bunch of energy credits. I'm not hurting for energy credits. I would rather get the research. So we're going to do this. It'll issue a special project. Situation log has been updated. Now this project will shut down my actual uh, research into uh, society until I complete it, which would take 54, about five years. I really don't want to delay that right now. So that project, there's no timer on it. I can wait and do that later when I have a better research output. That's just something I can hang on to for now. All right. I am just about ready. Yeah, he's got two more planets to survey, and I have the money and resources to uh, build an outpost here once it is fully surveyed. We have detected an anomaly. Oh, boy. Sensors are reporting a number of possible points of interest within the dense debris field surrounding Sirius 5. This one's level 3. It's adding 180 days. Let's see... Uh... She's about halfway through this level. That's something I can hold off on. I'm going to have other scientists passing through here to scan some of these other areas. That's not pressing right now, and it's not worth nearly half a year extra time. So we'll leave that be for now. I'm gonna have another scientist coming this way. So there's Bernard Star, there's Sirius, there's Alpha Centauri, Procyon is around here somewhere. Oh, and that has a continental world. That's a large continental world too. Nice. We have detected an anomaly. That one's only adding 60 months. I'll, I'll do that one. Um, let me check that scientist real quick. Though. Oh, he is about to level. And there are more things I can survey here. Okay. It won't take long for him to level. Yeah, he should level by the time he gets done with these three planets. And so he can hit that on the way back to go to these without adding a lot of time. We will leave that be for now. Uh, an abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this moon. The mass of cells protruding from its hull suggested it relied on solar power to function. System survey concluded. The UNS Goddard has made a startling find on Alpha Centauri 6. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Earth. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believed we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on Alpha Centauri 6 are sapient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. Now that's going to give me a boost to my society research. So right now it's going to take five years. Now it takes under three. So yeah, it's your your scientists out here doing exploration really fuel your starting uh, research. Oh, uh, I should be building a starbase outpost, and I've still got. Yeah, a little over six months. I'll be done with that starbase outpost before this colony ship is complete. And then that colony ship can start colonizing Alpha Centauri. And let me take a look at this world. Oh, yes, good mining world. Could actually be a decent agriculture world if I wanted to do that. You don't need a lot of agriculture. 
And actually, Earth is better at agriculture or, or energy than it is at mining. So I might actually turn Earth into my agriculture and energy world, just adding more agriculture districts as I need them, because by the time I need to start getting rid of generator districts uh, and mining districts, I should have other colonies that are better at it. And Alpha Centauri would make a really good mining world. And I need lots and lots of minerals. What else does it have? Oh, it has dust caverns. Another reason to make it a mining world, because this type mining world uh, affects strategic resource miners. So yeah, I think I'm going to start mining here. I've got 70% habitability. As you see, the low habitability ups the amenities my pop needs, ups the upkeep, reduces their resources, and reduces their growth speed. So you really don't want to go under 70% value if you can avoid it. You'd really like to stay close to 80. But it won't be too long before I get a habitability boost. So this is probably worth colonizing. Now it does have a bunch of blockers. Toxic kelp, dense jungle, active volcanoes. I can deal with that. United Nations of Earth is abuzz with news of the alien organisms discovered some time ago. These little evolutionary marvels kindle in the human people a renewed hope of first contact with intelligent beings. A recent encounter with alien life forms has reignited and made suddenly more urgent the old debate on how we should approach contacting any potentially intelligent alien civilization we may meet. While some advocate focusing on establishing friendly relations as quickly as possible by contacting them with a message of peace, others advise caution, pointing out that we cannot know whether the alien minds bear ill intent toward us, and that it would be unwise to let them know too much about us before it is necessary. Well, we are egalitarian xenophiles. We are going to greet them with open arms for the first contact discovery speed, because first contacts are going to be my main source of influence early on. Now we get to boldly go. A new age of exploration is upon us. As we once mapped the surface of our homeworld, we must now brave new terrain, space. There is a galaxy full of wonder waiting to be discovered. This will speed up how quickly I'm surveying systems and increase the chance my science ships will survive if they run into hostiles. That's what I thought. Yeah, he gained a level. He's still got one more thing to survey here. Uh, after he uh, surveys that one, I'll tell him to research that on the way back. And you can hold down shift to queue up actions and hit control shift to put actions at the start of the queue. So as he goes by, I'm going to control shift for him to uh, research this when he and he will redirect to research it before he moves on because now it's only going to take 100 days for him to knock that out. And then he's still got a little bit more to research. Construction completed. All right, got our first star base. Uh, the um, colony ship still has uh, three more months before I have to worry about it. But now that I've got a, a Earth developing a little better, and I've got a good decent amount of minerals, we are going to go back and build these stations. You're going to build that research station. You're going to build a research station there and the two mining stations. And then we're going to go to Barnard Star and we'll probably put up an outpost there and then build all the stations there. And that should complete our uh, mandate, our mining mandate uh, for, yeah, because we should have four between that. We've got at least two on in Earth and at least two there. So we'll get the miner mandate completed and get that unity boost. 
and we can slowly start making our way towards Sirius to get this uh, world, which is probably going to be fairly decent to colonize. And since you're just about done with the industrial district, it's time to get rid of the industrial wasteland right after you're done there. This is a very quick system to survey. I might be able to go here and go ahead and grab this choke point. We have detected an Earth. anomaly. All right, here we go. This is a level five anomaly. We are definitely going to be leaving this one because that is adding 600 days. That's 10 months or 20 months. That's almost two years. Uh, it is better to wait until I have a higher level person coming through and worry about that then. Um, repeated scans of Sirius 6's surface give inconsistent sensor readings, almost as if the planet itself was in a constant state of upheaval. Now, I'll leave that one be for now. We've discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Vindemir 1A. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive cells has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. And that halved from over five years to under three, how long it's gonna take me to get afterburners. So as you see, these anomalies really help out pushing your starting research. Oh, I didn't even notice my colony ship was completed. Let's go ahead and colonize this world. Rain. Interesting name for colony, but we'll go with it. And it's going to take you six months to get over there. Which is one of the reasons I like building the colony ships early you can have them already on route. Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence, reads a popular news net post on Earth. The people of the United Nations of Earth are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record, but potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. The report on the traces of alien life that were recently found seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situation. All right, I've got two potential paths I can take here. Let's go that way. And let's actually have you divert to build this outpost. He's on the last, uh, he's about to be done with the Sirius system. Or she, sorry. System survey concluded. Oh, I forgot to queue you up to do other things. I thought I did queue you up to survey this way. That is strange. Yeah, we're going to survey up this way, because if we get to Sirius, these are kind of not a critical priority. Nobody else can get to them except by coming this way or around this way. But if we have Bernard Star and Sirius, we should have that area locked off. We can kind of push up to this choke point next and see what is on that way. Make sure all of these guys have queued up actions. I haven't uh, decided when I get there I'll decide which way I go because if this dead ends that way I can just push on this way. SysMac is going to be a fairly quick system to get. System survey concluded. My colony ship is on its way. Let me go ahead and uh, Earth has completed its production. I do want to check one thing. 
yes, it pulled out a clerk. Uh, I don't want the clerks pulled out because that puts me at no amenities surplus. Uh, we have enough surplus of energy credits. We can lose one technician to have a clerk. Uh, right now, that puts us at a decent level. Uh, and we are now producing more alloys and more consumer goods to allow us to build uh, more research facilities or administrative offices. I don't need to worry about another job for at least three years. So I can save the minerals for building uh, mining and research stations. And I do need to, s to get s start buying more mineral uh, alloys because I'm going to want another colony ship on its way to Sirius. Oh yes, that is going to be my breadbasket so Earth can be a generator world. Cool. Lim, that system's got a lot of asteroids. It's going to take that person a while. <clears throat> Actually, let's go ahead and get yet another science ship going. It's going to be a while before we need the colony ship over there. Through hard work and experience, Governor Carla de la Guardia has developed new skills. She now has clear blocker cost and speed improved. Well, that would have been nice um, back when I had the blockers on Earth to worry about. It's going to be a while before.